TU100 My Digital Life Sense and Sense Ability In the last video, we created a script involving a sequence of if blocks. Another way of combining selection constructs is to place if and if else blocks inside the jaws of other if and if else blocks. This process is another example of nesting. That's embedding one programming construct inside another, a concept we met in the context of loops. In the following exercise, we'll amend our polygon drawing program to give us some practice at this. You may have noticed that if you enter a very large number of polygons, a thousand for example, then as far as the program is concerned, there's no problem. It draws that number of polygons. However, it may take quite some time to complete and the resolution of the final drawing will be poor. Here's what that will look like. So it would be sensible to restrict the number of polygons drawn in much the same way that the number of sides is restricted. That's the focus of what we're going to do now. So open project 19, which contains the completed program from the last version of the polygon drawing program. That was exercise 16 and immediately save it with 19 underscore SOL. The current version of this program checks whether the number of sides entered by the user is less than three. If it is, the user is simply issued with a warning message and the program stops. If it is not, then all is well. The program proceeds to ask the user for the number of polygons to be drawn and then performs the drawing. Now we will amend the program to restrict the number of polygons drawn. If the number of polygons entered by the user is more than say 190, the user is simply issued with a warning message and the program stops. So let's bring a new if else block into the script positioned directly below the set number of polygons block and we'll create a suitable boolean condition for this block that checks whether the number of polygons entered by the user is greater than 190. Position a suitable block between the upper jaws of the new if else block so that if the number of polygons is greater than 190, a warning is issued. Reposition the existing blocks lower down in the script between the lower jaws of the new if else block so that if all is well and the user has entered a valid number of polygons, no more than 190, the drawing is carried out. Change the message displayed to the user when the number of polygons is requested so that it informs them of the restriction on the number of polygons. Save the project and run the program. Enter different values for the number of sides and the number of polygons and check that your program performs as required. In this program, one if else block is nested inside another. It's only appropriate to ask the user for the number of polygons if the number of sides is valid and it also is only appropriate to perform the drawing if both the number of sides and the number of polygons are valid. In the next video, we'll get some more practice at using some of the ideas we've been learning about. But for now, thanks for watching.